Okay, that's it. We're live. Okay, guys, welcome to 500 Pixels. This is our first Hangout on air. Uh, uh, it's still pre-show. We're still waiting for a couple of people, people to join. Um, right now, we're just kind of like chatting. Uh, pretty soon, we're going to start a conversation about New Year photography resolutions. But in the meantime, I'm going to do some technical stuff. You please go crazy and just discuss what you were already discussing. Polly, what you were saying? Uh, I was introducing myself. No? Yes, no? Okay, so go I'm ahead, do Polly, it. I'm a fine arts photographer and filmmaker. I'm based in Los Angeles, California, and I'm happy to be here today. Hey! Awesome. Maybe Darren can be next because he just joined. Yes, Darren. Can you introduce here. yourself, Darren? Wow, Darren. Yeah. Hi, how's it going? Uh, my name is. Darren Pearson, I'm 30 years old, I'm from San Diego, and I live in LA. What's up, Darren? What's going on, Mike? What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> I guess nice to see you all here. I guess few of you know each other. All right, so Dave, you're next. All right, my name is Dave Morrow. Um, I'm a photographer from, I guess I'm a photographer, I'm from Seattle, Washington. Uh, I've been started photography about two years ago and recently got into teaching workshops and stuff like that. Um, and also, Michael and I just launched a new website, LearnStarPhotography.com. I'm going to plug myself real quick if you don't mind. Cool. <laughs> so well, if you want to learn about star photography, go to that website and check it out. It's LearnStarPhotography.com. What's the website? Share the screen. Um, I can do that. One moment, please. Mm -hmm. so, um, so basically what this website is, if you want to learn, if you're just beginning or whatever you want to do, um, let me do this. If you want to learn anything about star photography, you can just go over here. Tell me when I'm sharing my screen. Can you guys see it? Not yet. No. Should be sharing desktop. Does that work? Try it again. Mm -hmm. One moment. If it doesn't yeah, work, we'll just keep going. How's um, that look? Can you see it? It's black. Oh, man. What the heck? That's a good-looking website. Yeah, it's all black. <laughs> well, because it's dark outside, so you can't see anything. Oh, oh, right here. <clears throat> but but anyway. I see it. I see. You can see it now? Mm hmm Okay, so yeah. basically, you can go to this website, and uh, Michael and I offer a post-processing master class. So you can go through and learn how we uh, do the Photoshop and Lightroom behind all of our pictures. So what we do is we give you a raw file for the picture we took out in the field, and then you can grab it, and you can follow along with us and uh, learn how to turn it into both of our final results. And we give you a video, video tutorial to help you do that. Then also you can go up here to the top, and they have like a bunch of free resources as well, like uh, a bunch of our free tutorials that we offer and stuff like that. So if you're interested, head on over and check it out. It's learnstarphotography.com. That's awesome. cool. Show us cool. your desktop. Um, <laughs> desktop? <laughs> okay, are we back? Am I off sharing now? I think we are. All right, so that's it. That's all I got. Awesome. <laughs> Michael, maybe you're going to go next since you're Dave's buddy. Yeah, um, I'm Michael. I'm a photographer, filmmaker from San Diego, California. And funny enough, me and Darren actually just did a collaboration image that I, I just posted on 500 Pix yesterday. So this is kind of a funny little group. Serendipitous event there. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Emily. Awesome. Hey guys, uh, my name's Emily. I'm a Toronto-based uh, travel, landscape, and street photographer. Um, I'm also a writer. Um, I was actually just featured on the 500 Pix uh, blog the other day, which was awesome. So if you want to check out some of my stuff there, uh, please feel free. A lot of my photography is very colorful and very vibrant, and I love shooting people, uh, travel scenes, landscapes, and stuff like that. So it's great to meet all of you, and I'm looking forward to chatting. Awesome. Tomorrow, nice let well, actually, I'm going to be last. You're the... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Everybody calls me Tammy. I'm <laughs> actually American, but I live in England, mm. and uh, I'm a portrait and commercial photographer. Cool. And Tammy, you just uh, recently did a radio show on New Year's resolutions? Oh, yeah, that's right. I do radio, too. I forgot about that. <laughs> um, yes, I did just do a radio show, um, and the one of the topics was New Year's resolutions slash goals, because I myself also don't do New Year's resolutions, but I do have goals for the year. 
So, and it was very interesting. I had um, a lovely response from from quite a few people, and it's also interesting to hear that so many of us have the same goals and New Year's resolutions. Actually, I love your accent. Oh, thank you. It's very sexy. Oh. <laughs> what about mine? <laughs> Alright guys, before, before, before you get ahead of yourself, um, I'm just going to introduce myself. I'm Diana, uh, Fiona VXPX blogger and editor. Um, not very good in front of cameras. Um, and I'm going to be taking care of our Twitter, um, you know, monitoring it as we talk along to make sure that, you know, we answer questions that our users and watchers and people have to ask. Okay, great. And if you need a t-shirt, let me know. I'll hook you up. Back to Android. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, thank you. I'm Andre, 500 pixels as well. Uh, we already spoke with many of you. Uh, I'm community manager. I'm actually the one who talks to people, as Diana, as many of you. Uh, I do photography. I do digital cinematography. I love those amazing uh, time-lapse videos, which a couple of you guys produced recently. I have to say it's like one of the best which I've seen in my life, and they're amazing. And pretty much that's it. So we're going to have like our short discussion today about your New Year resolutions. So my first question is, how many of you actually have New Year resolutions, photography resolutions? I do. <laughs> okay, who doesn't? I do not. I do, well, I do not. I have <laughs> goals. That's of kind of course. Like I dream big. <laughs> okay. I don't really have one. Michael, tell us about yourself. What's yours? I mean, like, uh, why do, I mean, why don't, don't you have them? Well, it's not that I don't really have per se a specific resolution for this year, but it's more that every year, every new year, I just try and be a little bit more creative and maybe just you know put my own touch into like a new genre or not necessarily a new genre, but but like. You know, I try and explore new elements of photography and filmmaking and just put my own touch into that. And, you know, that's just an ongoing thing every single year. I just try and get a little bit more creative. So it's not really a resolution specific to one year, but, you know, that's what I try and do most of the time. Awesome. Polly, what about you? Well, You're like also I, the one who doesn't have it. Of course, I don't. Like, um, uh, I'm... Like, to be honest, I'm so creative that in my world, like, plans and strategy just don't exist. So I just go with the flow. I do what I love to do. I do it perfectly good, of course. And uh, it makes me happy. So I think that um, it's my advantage that I'm so brave and courageous enough just not to have any New Year resolution, I guess. So. <coughs> okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. I, I I just spent. I'm sorry. I just spent the whole Michael's talk staring at Darren. So. Like, <laughs> yeah, the the screen's not switching. I don't know why. At least I was not. stuck. <laughs> yeah, mine seems to be switching pretty <laughs> randomly here too. It normally does a good job. I'm not sure what's going on, but nonetheless. Um, I don't have a resolution either. But okay. I kind of just uh, I kind of just pick weekly or monthly projects and constantly just keep on doing stuff. Uh, and more on just traveling than anything else. I feel if I go out and travel and get good locations to shoot and have a good time, it's pretty much all good. So that's my, that's kind of how what I go to every year. So I guess you. Tammy, what about you? You said you've, you've got goals. Can you uh, tell well, us about them? A, well, there are a few things that I would like to get done before the year's up. I have several projects that, you know, I've started throughout throughout many years that I would like to finish and um, I'd also like to do, um, I got kind of got tied up in my work photography that I really haven't done much photography for myself lately so I would like to do some more creative photography. Awesome, awesome. Uh, do you have somebody who actually has New Year resolutions? I do. I do. Okay, who's the first one? Emily. I, uh, I try to set one New Year's resolution each year and try to improve my photography throughout the year. Um, this year, my goal is to produce a time lapse. I've seen some really amazing stuff in Toronto and from other cities, and it's really inspired me to try to get out there and, and find a scene that 
um, has people movement and uh, vehicles and, and city life and sort of capture that and make it into a video. So um, I'm currently looking for like the best place that I can shoot from and I'd really like to learn how to put it all together and share it with people online. That's nice. a good one. That's, yeah, that's a good one. Awesome. Who's next? Uh, hey guys, I'm uh, Jason Waltman. I'm uh, an effects artist at DreamWorks Animation and uh, I currently live in San Francisco. Um, my New Year's resolution is to slow down. And by that I mean I, I usually take a lot of photos when I'm traveling and I'm with my partner and we're running around cities and, and I'm trying to not slow us down and you know we need to get where we need to go. Um, I do a lot of like shooting from the hip and I see stuff and I try to take uh, photos as I see it but I, when I get home I look at my memory card and I see that oh if I, if I would just would have stopped and tried to actually compose and focus I would have gotten a better image than the one that I did. So I want to either take more time to go out on my own or to actually you know like you know tell the group hey stop we're, we're gonna stop now I'm gonna take some pictures you go get a coffee or something and, and I'm gonna do this and then <laughs> and, then, and hopefully I get better pictures in the process. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Diana, what about you? Well, um, I haven't posted even one picture to Fun PX since like two years, I think. <laughs> so my goal for this year is just to start processing the like hordes of images that I've just been collecting and not finding the time to process them. And I keep on promising to my followers on Fire and PX that, you know, next month <laughs> new pictures are coming out, but uh, no, it's not happening. Yeah. Can, I, can I finally post the picture, like your portraits I made like two years ago? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, great. Actually. They're uncensored, so Diana <laughs> was like super shy. <laughs> but they're so beautiful, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody's waiting for it. Darren, what about you? Good. Before we switch to more like explicit to talk about naked pictures. Darren, tell us about what's your resolutions. I, I have a couple of resolutions in mind. Um, one of which is to shoot more panoramas. I, uh, I've just been trying to get into shooting more panoramas and I think uh, to kind of take some of the light painting pictures that I've done and apply them to like a panorama would be an interesting thing to try out. Um, aside from that, I have another goal to do an animation every week, if I can do that, because um, I because I do a lot of light painting animations. So this would be a good way to kind of set myself on a course I would love to, to produce see. another video. Yeah, where where can where can we see your animations? That sounds so cool. Um, you you can look up uh, the title of the video is called "Light Goes On," and it's on YouTube and Vimeo now. What's your Twitter um, account? And Twitter account is at Darius Twin. Oh yeah, and, by the way, guys, uh, I'll be I'll be sharing everyone's handles on Twitter after we're done, so okay. that way we can oh, talk okay. with each other just to let you guys know. Can do cool. it. But, but that, that's basically my <laughs> alias. So anything you can find on me is through Darius Twin. You can type that in, and things will pop up. But uh, aside from that, I'd like to travel once a month at least, um, and I find that traveling you often kind of. I mean, you, you shoot a lot of content when you're out traveling, but uh, for me, I have a lot of locations I'd love to visit in and outside of the U.S. that it would be a good goal of mine to basically try and get out there once a month to do these things. And if I get out more, that's great. Panoramas. What's that? How do you plan on doing the light painting panoramas? Um... Probably four or five vertical images, and I'll probably just uh, try and line up uh, where they cross over and kind of attempt to illustrate in the very middle of the frame so that the sides can overlap a little bit, but the middle of the frame doesn't get too uh, blended in a weird way. Okay. Do you guys shoot self-portraits? Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm just curious. I don't. I oh my guy, like you're also <laughs> handsome and beautiful. Well, thank you. Oh, you're <laughs> welcome. I, I've shot a lot of 35 millimeter this year. I'll I'll cool. continue to do that, but I, I rarely post it on 500 pixel. It's more of like a blog kind of thing. So on 35, like on film? 
Yeah. Do you develop it yourself? Um, I take it to a, a place in LA to develop them. Okay, and, where and in LA do job. you live? I live in Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock. I live in Playa del Rey. <laughs> so okay. here, guys, everyone can <laughs> turn off. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good view of the beach there. Light, how long have you been doing that light painting for? I just saw it through Michael's pictures there. It's amazing looking. Really mm -hmm. cool stuff. Oh, thank you. Yeah, You're I welcome. mean, I've, I first kind of stumbled across it in maybe 2007, so I've been doing it for about seven years now. Nice. Not not very serious at first. At first, it was more of an experimenting thing, but I mean, it it's just an extension of illustration for me. So. Oh, so you draw as well? I, yeah, I, I work as an illustrator. So. Oh, very cool. That's awesome, man. Thanks. Darren, I had a question. Are you going to come up with any new characters for your um, light paintings in 2014? Like, you know, it's all skeletons mostly. So do you have any plans Yeah, no, I think I have to kind of break away from that because um, mm -hmm. not everybody likes skeletons. It's true. Um, <laughs> so, so maybe I'll kind of attempt to do a couple different characters here and there. But, but I've done so many in the past that skeletons for me was easy because it was a way to kind of take my own body and kind of project it, you know, mm -hmm. towards a different space. Whereas if you have a different character, you have to kind of work with, like, totally different proportions. Your aliens and your uh, dinosaurs were really awesome. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I'll probably continue to do the dinosaurs. I really like dinosaurs. That's... I, I can't really get away from that. I'll probably still do those. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so it seems to be that some of you have a pretty specific goal. Somebody just like goes every day with your task and your creative art and what you love to do. Um, let me ask you something. Is there one single thing which you want to achieve this year that would make you like totally satisfied as an artist? Like one thing, if I can do this, it means that's it. I've been telling myself I was going to put together a book for the last two years, so if I could do that this year, yeah. that would be a big sense of achievement. Do you, do you have I don't like know a, if it's going to happen. Do you have a plan where you're going to publish the book yet? Like blurb or uh, something independent? I'm, I'm still writing it, and the concept changes kind of every year, so I'll, I'll probably wait for the right time to, to do it. But I'll keep on sketching notes, and I'll keep on coming up with outlines that I think at the time are going to be what it's going to be. But it are, evolves. <laughs> are artists ever truly satisfied with their work? Of course, <laughs> I'm. <laughs> Rarely. Yeah, we, we have one in this group who was satisfied. <laughs> I'm pretty much satisfied. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm looking forward for new beginnings. I recently um, become a director and a filmmaker, but. Uh, I mean, the amount of satisfaction I get is uh, uh, is what I'm makes. I mean, it makes me happy. So what else do I need? I don't need a lot of things to make me happy. And I feel inspired every day. And uh, the only thing I want to do is like make a home movie with my boyfriend. And yes, that's and I will be completely satisfied with. My artistic skills. Uh, I have a new boyfriend. He's from San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell <Yay>! you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a new one. Woo! <laughs> I have a topic. Mm -hmm. Yes. The um well well first off I would like to know what type of um, camera everyone uses like DSLR, compact, the new compact system cameras, film cameras, full full. Um, full format. Yeah, what kind of cameras do you use? I use DSLRs. I've always used DSLRs, and I find they're really great for um, travel and post processing. I've yeah. always been with Nikon, and I found that they've uh, always, you know, had good products for me and good lenses and so on. Uh, currently, I'm shooting with a Nikon D5100, and I find that it suits all my needs, and uh, it's been pretty good so far. Um, I shoot the Nikon D800, and it's what I use for landscape. And then I have like a little film camera I carry around and just take random snapshots when I travel. But it's pretty much it. 
A 35 millimeter film camera, or what kind of film camera? Ah, uh, yeah, 35 millimeter. I don't even know what the brand name is. I just found it at a yard oh. sale, so I picked yeah. it up. Yeah. <laughs> brands, <laughs> brands don't matter. It's just the type of camera that that you're using that I'm I'm after. Um, yeah, I mean, as, as far as like digital stuff, I kind of care what my camera is. But for the just random film stuff I do, I don't really bother with it too much because I don't print it huge. I don't really put it online or anything like that. So no big deal. I should have scanned on 5D Mark II, but uh, like I don't care about the body, or I don't care about uh, camera or brand. Uh, I care about lenses, and that's what uh, really hard to feel uh, comfortable and satisfied with. Like I find my my uh, I'm sorry, I'm from Russia. <laughs> uh, so my favorite lens is like manual, really old. Uh, uh, Carl says lens and uh, like I don't care I will find uh, um, mm, how it's called like a, a tra transmitter from this lens to every camera I will use that's all I care about like I want this camera oh I want this lens does it make sense do you understand me guys yeah I think you're talking about oh, an adapter <laughs> yeah adapter yeah <laughs> Ah, uh, adapter, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I use a Nikon full-frame DSLR. Uh, I recently upgraded from the crop sensor to the full-frame, and uh, I, I like taking shots at night with high ISOs and stuff uh, if I don't have a tripod, and the, I found that having a full-frame camera is really, really nice. Yep, yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I use uh, mostly... Canon 60s DSLRs for like night photography and night time lapse, and then I have a Canon 5D3 as a sort of like a backup for more daytime stuff. But yeah, you know, I, I find that DSLRs are the best for time lapse, so I usually stick with those, and for astrophotography. Is it who hasn't responded? I, I haven't responded yet. I was kind of waiting my turn, but yeah. uh. I, I shoot with a, a Canon 6D, and then I then I had a Canon 7D before that, and I also have a Mamiya RB67 oh. that I take out from time to time, and then I have uh, like a Polaroid 420 that I rarely take out, um, and then the 35 millimeter film camera, which is a, a Yashica T4, and, uh, and and then like a little S95 camera. <laughs> I have a lot of cameras. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. I'd, I'd be here. We'd be here half the night if I listed all my cameras. Yeah. I even shot. I even shot with a, a 1930s box camera on a professional shoot recently. So that was fun. Um, That's cool. But I do. I do mostly use a DSLR as well. Um, so it seems like everybody's using DSLRs. The reason I'm asking is, um, have any of you used or tried any of the um, compact system cameras? Not recently. No, not yet. Um, um, I have some thoughts on that. Okay. <laughs> a lot of people really seem to like them. I don't. I mean, mm -hmm. you save like a. For me, I think you save like maybe two pounds or three pounds in gear. For me, it's just not worth it. I love DSLR. Um, I don't think I'll ever jump on that bandwagon personally, but that's just my opinion. There are a lot of photographers. Um, I've talked to a lot of photographers, and a lot of them are downsizing their their gear and um, going for the compact system cameras. Even professionally, I know two right. professional. I know two professional photographers at the moment who are shooting with compact system cameras. Yeah. The, you know the, the interchangeable lenses. You know which ones mm -hmm. I'm talking about, right? I just don't uh, think the colors there. I don't think the colors anywhere near as good as like a full frame D800 or like a uh, Mark III or something. That's just my personal opinion. But I, for some reason, I can just tell that it's been shot with like a compact. Camera. Yeah, I'll back that up because I just tried one out recently and it wasn't so impressed. Yeah, the detail and the color just aren't there. I mean, I've seen my buddy print his full size, I mean, say like 36 inches wide or something, and you can definitely tell when they're printed out. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure they'll catch up eventually, it's just not time for me to change personally. So you'd say it's not there yet? <laughs> no. Some of the lightest ones, the ones from Olympus, their new M, is it the M5 camera that's just come mm -hmm. out? That's, that, I've seen some prints from that blown up quite large, and it's quite incredible, Good. the detail in, in that one. Um, I'm on the DSLR bandwagon as well. I can't imagine giving up my, my kid. 
But I, no. I do feel it when I'm, I'm carrying around all this heavy gear around places. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it is back breaking sometimes to carry it all around. Going back from basically uh, equipment to something which makes you happy and what you want to do, Paul already discussed it, but still, guys, what, ma what makes you happy as photographers? Yeah. Um, Taking me, pictures. <laughs> I like to teach people, other people, when you teach people photography and see them like catch it for the first time and get a shot that they like, I think that's really, that brings me a lot of happiness. Emily, what about you? For me, it's um, sort of capturing a scene that nobody else has captured before. So I do a lot of traveling. I just came back from Argentina, and I was shooting there. And some of the best moments were sort of like on the back streets of Buenos Aires, where most people don't go, and where I'm able to photograph sort of like regular people going about their day, but in a really unique way. So I find capturing... Um, something that's a little bit different than what other people have done, um, makes your photos stand out a little bit more, and um, I find that a lot more gratifying than photographing sort of like the typical uh, things you would expect when you travel. I see. Jason, what, ma what makes you happy? Um, well, I, I sort of agree. Um, I like taking pictures of things that have been taken pictures of before, but in a unique way, and um, when, when I go on vacation, um, I don't buy a lot of souvenirs. My, the souvenirs are my photos, and and I, I like having those the, those memories, and that I can, you know, come home and, and create like a photo book that I can share with people that uh, come over to visit, that I can upload them to a website, that I can uh, <laughs> upload them to 500 and uh, and share those with with people that weren't on the trip with me. Awesome. Who else? What about the question? I missed it. My, my what? Yeah, but my it's all about you. Well, what makes you happy? Uh, love makes me happy. Art makes me happy. Life itself makes me extremely happy. <laughs> oh, oh, what else? What, what's what I supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> Very simple things, starting from us. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. Oh, good. We just yeah. love you. Okay. I love you, too. I love you yeah. so much. I know. I know. <laughs> I hopefully see you soon again. It's been two years since I saw you last time in person, so... Well, I, I, I wish I joined you in Dominican Republic. That uh, was fun. That seems to be fun. Okay. So, Andre. Yes. What does make you happy, and what kind of camera do you have? Because you haven't answered those questions. Right. I'm trying to like give you more time to speak. Uh, I actually sold my 5D Mark II. So basically, I used to have 5D Mark II, uh, 135, 85, 1.8, 50, 1.8. I basically sold all my equipment. I'm shooting this day with all Japanese film camera, which I got on like yard sale for 50 bucks or something. And I'm taking like a couple of pictures a day, and I know it's kind of more like emotional exercise, not just a photography exercise. I'm probably gonna like buy new gear. I don't know what I'm gonna buy. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I have like ah, oh, it's in my desk. It's in a different room. It's like very old, and I pretend to be like cool and to look as a somebody <laughs> who like owns something like Fuji X100S or something. <laughs> No, I just were playing with this toy, and I'm enjoying it so much. Because basically, I used to carry my backpack with my camera gear all the time. So I wasn't leaving my place without camera. I was going to the grocery store and carrying with me a tripod at some point. Why? Because I was doing also this whole cinematography. And I wanted to make sure that there is something going on on the street. I want to make sure I can take steady video of this event. And at some point, I'm just like... I don't want it. I like give me like just something small I can put in my pocket. So we'll see. I'm probably gonna go like back. Like an iPhone. Uh, <laughs> yes. And me showing, yeah. Yes. Okay. I just bought this because mm -hmm. of that to have something to keep in my pocket that I can take pictures with. Yeah. Because the the big Canon is it's it's huge. It's heavy and it's difficult to carry around everywhere. Yeah, but speaking of once again like equipment and resolutions, my New Year resolution is don't spend much money on equipment. <laughs> I've done it before, and actually I'm following Zach Arias' path, who said like, "Come on, guys." That's right. 
strong attitude, Andrew. Like you should think about getting a job that will pay your very expensive oh. equipment. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Molly. <laughs> 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 well, speaking about very expensive equipment, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but um, what's Evgeny's title now? Is he the he's CPO? Yeah, yeah. The chief product officer. Okay, so 500px co-founder Evgeny, he was in Montreal recently, and he got his car broken in, and he got stolen. Was it hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment? It was ten thousand. Yeah, ten thousand. Oh, no. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay. yeah, but, but still, still, that's a lot of money, and uh, so who all the images. Think it was Evgeny's. <laughs> yeah, all his photo equipment. He just yeah. left his on the back seat of yeah, the car. Yeah, it's really, and really Somebody broke in the but, car. But why I'm mentioning this is that you know you can have expensive equipment and then it can be gone all in one day, and I think um, it doesn't really matter. It's it's the images, right? So back up your photos <laughs> before you go traveling this year anywhere anywhere. And yeah. while you travel too, it's so important. Mm. Guys, a couple of questions. Actually, one question which I really want to ask you. So basically, as I said before, this is the first hangout. It's kind of like spontaneous, unorganized, making jokes, and I love each, each of you. And we spoke before, and basically before we used to spend like hours and hours at nights just chatting on any different subjects, pretty much as we're doing right now. The thing is, once again, as we discussed before, we want to do it like more organized and more systematic basis and bring kind of learning experience to the public and to our users. What do you think? You are photographers, you basically teach you know how to take pictures. Each of you are amazing. What kind of this kind of hangouts and discussions you think would be useful? What do you think we should do? What should we produce to make it beneficial for the whole community? Mm. I want to hang out with Darren and Dave. I'm sorry. <laughs> that me? Both would be very beneficial. <laughs> Everybody wants to hang out with me. Is it all like the Californians? Aw. <laughs> the Russians. Um, well, I, I think it's really cool to, uh, personally, I think it's, I mean, some photographers don't like to do this, but I think it's cool to screen share and watch photographer post-process a shot, because even, I mean, even if you're really good at Photoshop, you can watch somebody else that's pretty damn good at it, and you can get a lot of stuff from it. I also think it's cool to hear them talk through their artistic <coughs> process while they're doing that. And you just get so much just from watching somebody do what they do best. Um, I think it comes down to that for me. Awesome. What else? I think it's fairly interesting to hear what other photographers think. Like with the radio show that I did recently, and the... Uh, the, the people who were tweeting to me and telling me their New Year's resolutions, I, I just found that very interesting how, how other photographers think, especially from around the world. And um, the CNF, um, we think differently in different countries about photography, how things are going. So most of you are um, stateside, and um, I'm on this side, but it's, it seems to be pretty much the same. We all seem to be saying pretty much the same things. All insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing. What else? Tell me. I think that um, some Google Hangouts centered around different types of photography could be cool. Like if we did one on, say, uh, landscape photography or travel photography or architectural photography and brought in people who sort of focus on those areas of photography and have them share with us sort of what their tips are or where are some great locations to shoot or any sort of words of advice they might have for people interested in that particular type of photography. Yeah, I agree. It's a good one. That I like that. Cool. Yeah, it's a great idea. I'd really like one on phone photography because I love phone photography. I carry my phone with me everywhere, and I take pictures for Instagram. So it would be really cool to have uh, one on that topic. Did everyone speak already? Uh, my, my internet connection is apparently so bad. But what I wanted to say is that it's really cool to have like probably one or three experts and then let the real people, uh, those who want to to those who have like real questions or interests in photography, like to, to talk to them rather than just to just be silly like me and to, and flirt with everyone. I mean, it's, I don't know. <laughs> Polly, you're awesome. Oh, <laughs> Darren, what, Darren, what do you think? Yeah, I, I agree that there should be 
probably a couple of specialists in the field that you know are into landscape or portraiture or um, long exposure or whatever it is. On you and art. to have other people that aren't you know quite as versed in that field ask them questions. I feel like that's a, a beneficial to people that um, that have those questions, and there's people that can answer them. Amazing. Anybody else right. want to say? Yeah. I think he, even gathering questions ahead of time and then just basing a talk based that, on what everyone's interested in. Exactly. Yeah. Totally work Can is you always sometimes fun invite too. La Chapelle yeah. or just just to join our hangout? We'll do it. Yay. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. with you. Okay. Yeah. I'll call you later. We'll discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, uh, I know I promised to keep the whole hangout under 30 minutes. We already broke the promise. Uh, so the very last question, and we'll make the next one very focused one and really amazing one. The question is, do you have any questions, short ones, specifically about 500 pixels, hangouts, or anything else? Not about cameras, not about, but 500 pixels or hangout related. Something quick and sweet. Yeah, I, I have one. Yes, actually. Um, is is there a function within 500 Pixel to where the photographers, once they upload their photos, they can download the high res version of their photos? Mm. Technically, not yet. But uh, if you really need it, you can basically email our support, and I'll do it for you on a custom basis. That's nice of you to do. But th that would be a really excellent service to provide yeah. because <laughs> of what we were mentioning earlier about uh, you know the film being, or the, uh, the equipment being stolen, or like, uh, say there's like a hard drive failure or something, it'd be nice to have a place that you can go to that stores all your high-res photos that you can yeah. batch download your high-res photos if you should need to. Okay. But, I don't know uh, if that's even like technically it. feasible so, or what, but... Darren, they have like an application for Lightroom, and uh, it allows you just to, to synchronize your um, collection all of the pictures and then download them. Yes and That's no. Pretty nice. It's a bit yeah, so there, there's complex. a workaround right now yeah. if, if you want yeah. it, but there's no actual like batch downloading functionality. Yeah. But it is a very good idea. <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> yes. Um, so for like uh, 500 pixels compression, I know this, I always upload just to 500 pixels at uh, 900 pixels wide, uh, web sharpen. I notice I upload bigger, it doesn't look as good. So I don't upload full size to 500 pixels. But say I wanted to sell digital downloads or something, how do I get around the compression issue and still sell digital downloads at full size? That's basically two different files. Okay, so, so the pictures which files. Yeah, it's basically okay. pictures which you display on your, your profile is like one file in your backend. If you want to sell your pictures, you can upload full res file. Gotcha. I didn't it's just know. a different file. I guess I wasn't sure yeah. if when I uploaded that full res, if it swapped it out with the one that's being viewed by the public. I wasn't sure about that. So that, you answered my question. Thank you. Thank you. I have a reply for the backup. <laughs> yes. The guy was asked about backup. What you do is you buy an external drive and you back up all your images to that. Um, I don't think there is a a, a in the cloud um, space anywhere large enough for my photograph <laughs> collection. Are, maybe not all of them. <laughs> you can get crash. Maybe, let's say maybe just like the selects. <laughs> you can get crash plan. It's unlimited. Uh, I just actually started them, and um, so if you have a bunch of pictures, they'll send you a hard drive, and you can send all your like say it's like 1.5 terabytes is what I just sent into them, and they'll upload it to their servers, and then after that your computer will just sync over the air with it, so it won't take very long. So it just constantly keeps your computer updated with uh over the cloud, and it's unlimited. It's like six bucks a month or something. So that's a pretty good okay. option. Wow. And that's called Crash good. Plan, if you guys want to check it out. Ooh. Will do. I have Any a question questions? about the hang about the hangouts. Yes. Um, this one's been really awesome, and I think it's a really great way to bring people together oh. and have discussions. Um, I'm wondering how often we might be able to tune into these. Is there a plan <clears> for the next, next one? Yes, next next week actually we're having three hangouts. I can officially announce it. So I cannot tell you specifically days. Uh, actually, I can. Okay, Wednesday, 3 p.m. It's going to be hang out with our support team. Okay. So cool. Is it Dustin? Three... I want to hang out. It's not <laughs> Dustin, but I can definitely organize one for you. 
For sure. So, <laughs> with your support team, how do we get questions in? Like, just on Twitter or something? Like during yep. The... Just on Twitter during the Hangout, or you can go to the yep. um, Google Plus event page and ask questions there, and they're going to be monitored and answered. Yes. Tomorrow, basically, I'm going to publish official events. So next Wednesday, it's Hangout with our support team. It's going to be three people from support team. Uh, plus, uh, guys, if you want to participate, I'm officially inviting you right now to participate in this Hangout and ask questions. What are we going to do? Basically, we want to introduce our support team and actually show all those real people who's answering your questions. They're going to speak about, they're going to introduce themselves. They're going to speak about their processes. They want to speak about different ways to get help and support 15 pixels. For example, support pages versus forum versus email versus live chat versus social media. And they're going to speak about more about uh, basically schedule and the way they answer the question and the way they use your feedback in order to improve our product. So if you have any questions, if you want to participate, definitely next Wednesday join us. This is going to be the first one. Yeah. So to come back to your question, Emily, I'd say the answer is that we have a plan to have Google Hangouts every week. We just haven't oh. decided on the date. Yeah, it's very ambitious. <laughs> But we're gonna. We just have to decide on like a day that we can, you know, yeah. um, schedule it around. Awesome. So it would be consistent, and everyone could join in and know that it's happening. And, yeah. yeah. Great. But basically, yeah. So product related and photography related hangouts all the time, all of them. More questions. <laughs> what is it? Forty minutes in. Okay. I, I, so I have ask a me. Question. Yes. Uh, how do you pr pronounce the name of your company? I've heard 500px. I've heard 500 uh, yeah. pixels. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not sure how to how to pronounce what it. Is, my what is what is your guess? Well, you keep saying 500 pixels, so yeah. you have the T-shirt on. I I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. It's here. Then do you want to tell the story about 500 pixels and? PX? Yeah, where did the name come from too? I'd love to know that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so pretty much it was uh, back, in the, back in the day, in 2003, it was just Evgeny, um, Evgeny Chibaturov, who's the co-founder of 100 Pixels, or PX, and uh, he started a live journal community. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure if you're aware of live journal, it's like an online blogging. And he just started a community there um, where, you know, the prerequisite was that he had to upload a photo that was uh, 500 pixels in width. Because back in the day, in 2003, it was like huge <laughs> size. It was like unbelievable. Um, and then he went through images and curated the ones that he liked. And um, yeah, that's just how the name stuck around. <laughs> yeah. So basically, initially, it was, was called 500 pixels. This is still the way we call it. But honestly, so many people around the world say 500px that actually I'm catching myself saying 500px as well. So the proper pronunciation is 500 pixels, but if you want to call it 500 px, that's fine because I'm doing the same like almost every other day, unfortunately. We call it 500 pics. <laughs> yeah, I 500 pics. Yeah. <laughs> More questions? Tell me. Anybody? Did no? anyone get anything for Christmas that they're excited? Like, <laughs> Photography gear wise that they're excited to use this year? Oh man. I get myself a GoPro and I'm I, I I'm in love with it. Ooh. The Hero Three? Yeah. Uh, the nice Black gift, Edition. Michael. Show it to us again. Uh, <laughs> Michael, show us. Helicopter. I got inspired by uh, a friend who um, he's like the creative director at Adobe, and he does all these uh, aerial panoramas. And I got super inspired, so I bought one. That is awesome. <laughs> That's so have you cool. tested it out yet? No, I just put it together uh, last night. So I just Probably. noticed that. Uh, sorry, a dinosaur in your background is looks very similar to Darren's <laughs> ones. Is, yep. is that a gift from <laughs> yeah. Darren? Oh, wait, or? No, here that's, we go. <laughs> that's his. Uh, his clothing brand. <laughs> oh my god, awesome. Oh, yeah. How can I get one? Uh, you can go to thedangerbrand.com. That's that I I also do. I work as an illustrator, so this is the clothing line that I have started with my girlfriend. Oh cool. cool. 
And uh, what the it, website? Can you share these characters on it? Yeah, sure. It's uh, can I do like a screen grab of that <laughs> or what? Awesome. Of course. How this works, or you can type it into your browser. It's thedangerbrand.com if you're interested. Mm -hmm. And there's three characters: one dinosaur, one monkey, one alien, and they're they're on all the clothing. Cool. That's cool, man. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> That's really great. It's fun. <laughs> and we, we also take these characters kind of different places and shoot photos of them as well. Oh, That's wow. Kind of, uh, so there's, there is a photography element to them. And I mix in some of the light painting that I do. I'm, I'm thinking about maybe like animating some of the characters um, in light paintings, but and that would kind of go back to your different characters. How do you do this animation? Is it like frame by frame? I, I'm sorry, or is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all frame by frame. It's in Photoshop, and I'll do wow. different layers for every frame, and I'll re-illustrate, you know, every single one of the. Uh, I recently did my first oh, animation. Oh, the website. <laughs> no, I'm trying to. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's the logo. Yeah. Tamara, can you can you talk to us more? I, I'm in love with your voice. What would you like me to say? Oh my God! <laughs> Just my name. <laughs> Just your name. What, what's, what's your name? Polly. I'm terrible with name. Polly. Right. Hi, Polly. Oh my God! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you guys earlier what made me happy. Uh, it makes me happy is just taking photographs. I'm actually not, I, I, it's the same with me back in the film days. Back in the film days, we used to take a lot of photographs, and then you have all these rolls of film gathered up, you know, it's like, but none of them are developed, and then you go, forget what's on them, and you go, oh, I think I'll develop this one this week, and um, it's kind of the same way these days as well, except for my work, of course, I, I have to get that out, but photograph, photography for myself, they, I tend to just take the pictures and put them on my computer, and then I don't do anything with them, and I guess that's one of my if I had New Year's resolutions, that would be one this year, is to do something with the images that I take. That's a good idea. <laughs> Guys, you are amazing. And actually, it's much more fun than expected. And I will spend like the rest of my day just <laughs> still like, here, just sitting and listening to you and talking to you. It's all good times. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I probably, yeah, I probably, yeah, I probably gonna like stop broadcast right now, and I'm gonna. So everybody who's watching us live, and everybody who's gonna watch us on YouTube after, as I said before, we're gonna do this hangouts on the regular basis. Just follow us on social media: Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. You'll see the upcoming events. Eventually, we're gonna have a calendar, so we can see all upcoming events and discussions, and you'll be able to ask your questions. And pretty much that's it, guys. We love you. I'm clicking stop broadcast Hi. button right now. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you.